The 47th annual Midway Fall Festival kicks off on Saturday, this Saturday, the 18th. And here to tell us all about it is festival coordinator Alicia Holt. Alicia, thanks for being with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, Alicia, let's jump, jump right into it and just tell us what we can look forward to if we venture out to Midway this weekend. Absolutely. So this year's Midway Fall Festival is going to have just over 200 booths. Um, we are a strictly handcrafted festival, so that means um, at all the artists... Um, they don't have anything for resale. Basically, they crafted it themselves. They bring it to the show. Uh, we also have a great selection of food and beverage vendors, so you can enjoy uh, delicious funnel cakes. You can enjoy beer and wine. You can have uh, fruit tea, bourbon barrel lemonade, delicious burgers. So all the choices when it comes to, to food truck, uh, food and beverages. Uh, we also have about 16 hours of live music brought to you by the Country Boy Brewing Stage, which is super exciting. So definitely some local favorites like uh, Trip and Roots and Eight Days Sober and Matt Castle. So lots of great music uh, under the under the music tent so a whole weekend full of family friendly fun also uh, to make sure we remember the kids activities uh, we'll have free face painting with one of my favorite face painters her name's Angela her work is beautiful uh, and then also we'll have pumpkin decorating uh, which is provided by a, a combination of the Midway Business Association and the Woodford County Public Library so man. it all sounds good yeah. I tell you and especially it's stuff for the kids good mm -hmm. music good food but I tell you, I'm a little, I'm a little worried because I, I don't want to attend a super spreader. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you all are doing to keep people safe so that they can come enjoy the festival this year? Because you didn't, you all didn't get to have it last year, correct? Correct, correct. Okay. We didn't have it last year. So this year we've taken some extra precautions. We actually began planning um, when COVID first hit, like in March 2020. Okay, if there is a festival this year, what does that look like? And so since we didn't have it last year, we, you know, we've literally had 18 months of planning. How do we keep people safe during the Midway Fall Festival? Um, first off, of course, Woodford County has just over 74% vaccination rate, which I think helps a whole lot. Um, in addition to that, we've worked with our local uh, Woodford County Health Department. They're going to be providing us with uh, gallons of hand sanitizer, which will be strategically placed throughout the festival. Uh, we'll also have masks placed throughout the festival. We are asking that folks, if you walk indoors, if you go in to visit one of our shops or our restaurants, that you do put a mask on while you're in that indoor area. Um, and then in the outdoor area, one big change that people are going to see this year is that we've actually spread the festival out. Uh, there's an area in downtown Midway uh, that locals refer to as uh, the canopy or the courtyard, and it has traditionally been where vendors park their cars. So this year, vendors are going to be parking their cars elsewhere, and we've moved about 40 vendors off of the main street and out of Gratz Street and off of the bank lot down into this grassy area so that you can have five to 10 feet between each booth. If you've been to the Fall Festival before, you know literally every inch has counted before and we've filled it with something. Uh, so this Year, that's just going to look really, really different uh, so that you have room to meander through uh, in shops, out shops, through the tents, uh, and still still be able to keep your distance from folks. Uh, for, for anybody who hasn't been to the festival before, where, and especially this year, since you're, we're switching things up a little bit, where are, give me the, give me the tips uh, on where would the best places to park be? Yes, so there is lots of parking, it, and just in case you don't remember everything I say here, you can always go to midwayfallfestival.com uh, to the parking tab for full details on this. There is handicap parking provided behind City Hall. Uh, all of the local church, most of the local churches <laughs> provide, I don't want to say all because that's that's a pretty broad statement. So most of the local churches provide some form of uh, fundraising style, like you can park there for free and they'll give you a, a hot dog and a bag of chips and ask for a donation and then golf cart you over to the festival. Um, there's also, of course, city street parking. All of that will be available. Uh, and then the big one is Cypress Hill uh, Horse Farm, which is located directly across from the corner grocery in Midway. Parking there is $5, and then the business association itself who puts on the fall festival, we actually provide golf carts and volunteers who golf cart people from Cypress Hill up into the festival area. And this year, they'll actually be dropping people off in the newest area, so we make sure that folks find the new area where, where they're going to be vendors. So more inside info, if, uh, if I wanted to roll up and just park, get a primo spot on the street, like what time do things start usually picking up on Saturday? So traditionally, I am able to get one of those primo um, parking <laughs> right. spots, but I arrive at 7.30 in the morning. Okay. I'm going right. to say by 7.45, okay. 8 o'clock, you're probably out of luck. So, And the <laughs> right. show That's doesn't start until 10. So <laughs> That's good to know. I just come with $5. So. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier, you mentioned the use of volunteers. So uh, how many volunteers do you have for this event? 
For the 2019 show, we had about 150 volunteers. Wow. So it really takes what, – what, this is one of my favorite things about Midway, Kentucky, because it's such a tiny little community. It's like 1,800 people. Um, but for a show like this, literally people, they just roll down to downtown, and they're like, yes, I want to be part of this. I want to feature my, my little downtown. Um, and so this year we've printed 150 T-shirts. Our volunteer coordinator is working hard uh, to get those volunteers on board. And uh, so I anticipate about the same this year. So if somebody, is it still okay if somebody wants to volunteer, who do, who do they need to contact? Sure, they could they could reach out through the Midway Fall Festival website. Okay. There's a contact form. They could send me their information, and I'd put them in touch with um, with our coordinator. Okay. Um, and I read uh, in the paper, if you've ha- you guys have something neat planned for Christmas, if everything goes well this weekend, is that is that right? Can you give us a little... Uh, potentially. So, <laughs> so we, we have big dreams. So yeah. we really want to, um, the, so the president of the Midway Business Association started earlier in the year talking about lighting up Midway. And I, I think orig- like with Christmas lights. And I think originally in her head, the picture she painted was very Disneyland. It was very colorful and there were going to be lights everywhere. And so then when we actually sit down with a lighting company who can, um, tell us, you know, mm-hmm. what that might look like and what it might cost. Right. I think where we've landed is that we'll probably yeah. have white lights outlining all of the buildings and yeah. some of the trees. <laughs> so it's expensive. We know it, that. it is. Yeah. It's very pricey. Yeah. So, that, I mean, I mean, Courtney's ideas were fantastic and we may get there someday, but <laughs> right. it's going to take a little while for our little nonprofit. Right. So, yeah, that, sure. Yeah, that, that's exciting uh, mm-hmm. because I do. I think it's a great idea and maybe, maybe it can year after year just add to it. And, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, I, I think it would be perfect for, you know, such a picturesque little town. Absolutely. Well, and the charm of so at Christmas every year uh, Santa arrives by RJ Corman train in oh. downtown Midway to meet all the children and so um, for COVID last year we actually had a letter but because previously you could go sit on Santa's lap and of course that does, just doesn't work in COVID so we had a Santa's letter box um, and so every child was allowed to put a letter in the box and we actually hand wrote notes back to these children and so every person every child who dropped one in the letter box got a letter back from Santa so <laughs> So 47th annual this Saturday, get there early and uh, enjoy all those vendors. Kathy, anything else you want to? I think it's a great event. Yeah, it's been absolutely. around a long time, almost 50 years, and uh, just glad that it's back this year and they're doing everything they can to, to keep everybody safe. And so just take the opportunity to go out and enjoy that. It looks like we're going to have a, a beautiful day. Alicia, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it.